Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Network Engineer Stuff. So guys, in this video, we're going to focus on how to configure a standard access list control that is ACL in Cisco Packet Tracer. So standard ACL is a type of an ACL guys, which is used on Cisco devices to filter network traffic based on only source IP address. So standard ACL can filter traffic based on only source IP address and it cannot filter the traffic based on the destination IP or ports or protocols. So let's understand it by a practical example. Let's do a lab. So I'll take a router. I'll take a switch. And uh, end device, I'll take a PC and a laptop. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll also take a server. And I'll connect this quickly. Router to the server. Switch to the laptop. Switch to the PC. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll def I'll have to configure the router and assign the IP addresses to its interfaces. So what we'll do is we'll configure this particular interface as 10.1.1.1 slash 24. Okay, this particular interface has 20.1.1.1 slash 24. Uh, for the server, we'll give an IP address 20.1.1. Let's say 100. Uh, for this laptop, we'll give IP address 10.1.1.100. .1 .1 and for the PC, we'll give some IP, let's say 10.1.1.101. .1 .1 .1 .1 okay. So this will be our IP addresses. Fine. So I'll log into this router. CLI. Would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog? I'll say no. And I'll start configuring it. Fine. So we'll go into global configuration more. Interface gig 0 slash 0 slash 0. No shut. IP address 10.1.1.1 slash 24 is 255 .255 .255 So that is gig 0 slash 0 slash 0. Now let's take gig uh, 0 slash 0 slash 1. We'll do no shut. IP address 20.1.1.1 slash 24 again 255 dot 255 dot 255 0. So this is the configuration of the interfaces, what we have done. We'll save the configuration. Now let's assign the IP address to the server. Uh, go in this desktop. Here in desktop, you have to go in IP config. And here you can give the IP address to the server. So 20.1.1.100. Subnet marks will be 255.255.255.0. For the server, the default gateway will be this particular interface gig 0 slash 0 slash 1 so that is 20.1.1.1 so here we have configured the IP address for the server now let's quickly configure the IP address for the laptop and the PC as well go in the desktop IP config 10.1.1.100 subnet marks will be 255.255.255.0 the default gateway will be 10.1.1.1. So this is configured. Let's configure the PC as well. We'll go on desktop. Go on IP config 10.1.1.101. And 255, 255.255.255.0. And the default gateway here will be 10.1.1.1. So we have configured those IPs now. Now we have, we are done with that configurational stuff for the IP addressing. Now we will check the pings. Okay. So what I'll do is first I'll ping uh, this PC. Okay. This PC. And I'll ping the server. So server is 20.1.1.100. Right. So I'm pinging this, pinging the server from the PC. This is zero. So first packet radio, then we are able to get the ping. Okay. So this is how it is going.
let's check the trace trace will be 20.1.1.100 okay so the trace is going like uh, 10.1.1.1 that is this router and after router it is going to the server so from pc it is going to the router and from router to the server let's check from the laptop as well so from the laptop also we'll check i ping 20.1.1.100 yes we are able to ping from laptop also and let's check the trace also from laptop 20.1.1.100 so we can see from from laptop also first it is reaching to the to its default gateway that is the router and then to the server 20.1.1.100 so now what we will do is we are able to access the server from the pc zero and as well as from the laptop so from both we are able to access so let's restrict the access of the laptop to the server okay so we'll create an acl over here on the router for that so i'll go in the config t then i have to create an access list now here the access list if you do question mark we'll find okay so these are the ranges of the access list so from 1 to 99 you can configure a standard acl so we want standard acl so let's take the number 10 and we have to show you the options okay we can deny permit and some remark we can give so i have to deny i have to deny what i have to deny the laptop so since as I told you that the standard ACLs do the filtering based on the source IP address. So here the source IP address is laptop. So we are denying the laptop's IP, which is 10.1.1.100. Okay. So we also have to permit the other the other other traffic. So we are permitting this other traffic access list and permit any because there is implicit deny at the end of the access list so we have to permit the other traffic so we are only denying this particular laptop's ip now we have created the acl okay if we give this command show access list we'll find it okay so this is the acl which we created that is the ip access list and we created and we have these are our acl entries okay now now we have to apply it now this is very important that where to apply it on which interface and in which direction so that is very important so guys always remember that whenever you talk about standard access list standard access list should be applied as close standard access list should be applied as close to the destination as possible so here the destination is the server okay here the destination is the server so it should be applied close to the destination now why it is so that it should be applied close to the destination the reason behind it is that if we apply it close to the source if we apply the acl close to the source we may unintentionally block access to all the destination from that particular source so that is the reason why we apply it as close as possible to the destination so we will we will apply over here i'll try to figure out from here so this is my source okay and this is the destination okay so as close to the destination so this interface of the router okay that too in the out direction because the traffic is going to flow like this so that too in the out direction so i'll apply on gig 0 slash 0 slash 1 in out direction that particular acl now let's do it so where is the router so i'll go on the config t interface gig 0 slash 0 slash 1 and the command will be to apply the access list this ip access group so this is very important to remember ip access group the number of the access the the the, the, uh, the number what we have given to the access that is 10 
and in the out direction. Okay, so we are done with that access list now. Now, guys, we will check. Okay, now what I'll do is first I'll check on the PC whether I'm able to ping it or not. Yes, I should be able to ping. Yes, I'm able to ping from the PC. Now, from the laptop, we will check whether we are able to ping the server or not. So, you can see, guys, now I am not able to ping the server. Okay, so the router has done a job, router has blocked the access of the laptop to the server. Even if you now try to trace it, trace the uh, this IP address, server's IP address from the laptop, you can see that you know it is getting uh, blocked at 10.1.1.1, which is the router. So, router is doing its job of, of filtering this packet. So, this is what the standard access list is. So, guys do remember this this few points that that i've mentioned over here on the screen itself so you can you can just remember all this point these are very important points uh especially you know when you are working uh also and also when you are preparing for your interviews that will be very useful or for your of or for your college projects also this so this these are the points you can mention is that mention in that so guys i'll stop in this video over here but before stopping, guys, I will request all my all the viewers to please subscribe the channel Network Engineer Stuff because uh, it motivates me a lot. Whenever I see a lot of subs uh, subscribers, it motivates me a lot. So I will request to please subscribe to my channel and also do please give an appropriate comment and hit that like button also and share with your friends and colleagues. So I will stop. I will catch up in the next video. Till then, bye. Thanks and have a nice day. Thank you.